Today it's time to bring the newly promoted Bournemouth into the Premier League and see if we can make them stay up top because this team is a yo-yo club extraordinaire going up, down, up, down, up, down. Let's see if we can establish them in the Premier League and if we can make them a mainstay over here that can fight for the big trophies. At this moment in time, they have confirmed their promotion with 85 points in the championship. An incredible season has come to an end. Fulham and Bournemouth are pretty much confirmed to go up into the Premier League. And because of that, because of that, because of that, <laughs> we are sending both these clubs into the Premier League right now. And they are replacing the likes of Watford and Norwich, who are basically confirmed to go down. The third promotion club, we just don't know what's going to happen. One thing I want to give a huge shout out to before we go deeper into this rebuild is the fact that Brooks right here has beaten cancer. This man is going to be my captain until the end. I want him to lift all the trophies. I'm so happy to hear the good news about him because he's such a talented player. I'm glad it all worked out. And just generally speaking, away from football, of course, no one should be suffering under that. So I'm glad that he's been able to survive. And now, hopefully, he's going to be back. Also, I want to give a huge shout out to Dominic Solanke and Billing, who have been some of their top performers in this season. Solanke scoring 29 goals. So after all, this transfer has actually paid off for them. And he's only 23 years old. So who knows? Maybe we'll keep a couple of these originals in here. But because I want to basically respect the fact that this team has pulled this off, I want to give them one season with no transfers coming in. We're going to just go into the Youth Academy, see what we have there. Normally, we have one player in there waiting for us. It is going to be Howard. 69 rated, promoted immediately. Looks like a really good center attacking midfielder. Could be 70, 72 rated by the time we get into the next season. But due to the fact that this team managed to go up by themselves... I'm going to go ahead and give them a season in the Prem to see if they can actually keep themselves up there. As I'm recording this, I am watching the Champions League semi-final between Real Madrid and Manchester City. First half, it's going back and forth. The fans are going crazy. There's nothing that replaces Champions League football, man. It's just crazy. But here we are. Look at that. May 2022, the first season is over and we have a win over Chelsea. And we do stay up with no transfers. Bournemouth has confirmed themselves and as a Premier League side. That is a beautiful sight as Spurs surprisingly get themselves second position as Manchester City don't even qualify for Champions League football. Is that a sign of what's to come in this game? Is Manchester City going to be failing? I don't know. First half about to be done. So far, Real Madrid, the dominating side. But we all know the quality in City. We'll see what happens there. You'll see my live reaction. But guys, let's take a look at some of these players and how they have done this season specifically. We do see some incredible growth in our captain, Brooks. He is doing really well there. And Solanke with the 17-4. and four. Cantwell, 15-5. and five. He's leaving the club. Actually, in real life, I checked... He hasn't had that much of a good season, really. I, I don't even see him in the goal scorers or the assist in uh, the team. So that's very surprising. Let me know in the comments down below what happened to Cantwell at Bournemouth. Was he like injured or did he never really get play time? Uh, but nonetheless, we have Brooks here with the 17 goal contributions. Extremely happy with that. And I'm very much looking forward to seeing some new transfers come in here. But at the same time, due to the fact that some of these players have done an incredible job, I for sure want to keep more than just Brooks around in this team. Despite being part of the Prem right here, my friends, the budget is not necessarily incredible. Only £24 million to spend. Now, a lot of the players that are in this club are loaned in. So I'm about to take one step forward and probably lose about 50,000 players. So let me just take a look at who has left the club now with immediate effect and uh, how the situation is basically looking. Obviously, we now have the Youth Academy talent who has grown massively, by the way, up to a 75. He's going to replace the man on the left wing immediately. Uh, then the Norwich loanee, he's gone. And Travers now takes over the goalkeeping spot. He's only 23 years old, so I'm pretty happy with him. But we did lose Nat Phillips. Yes, the Liverpool loanee is back into his club. So that leaves us with Kelly, but no partnership. So that is a clear position we need to improve. But I also would like to bring in... I mean, we do have a bunch of youngsters all around. Really? How about Lerma? He's 27. 
All right, you know what? I can bring in a CDM. Center back and CDM, true transfer is about to happen. Reese Oxford is back to England. We brought him in now into that center back position. And I have also brought in a player that isn't necessarily a massive upgrade. Don't get me wrong. He's also not much younger than the player that we had. We brought in Rosario, who now 25, is 25 years old. But I wanted to mix up. I wanted to bring in someone that I personally don't think I've used yet. So I'm very excited about this pairing now coming into the team. And honestly, the rest of the team after that season that we've just had, I still believe a lot of these guys can go up and the budget is pretty much depleted. So no more transfers for me. When it comes to things we love to see, we have to add to it the progress that Bournemouth is doing right now. We are up to 50 points in this season, 12th position, no massive signings being made so far, only replaced the god Nat Phillips with Oxford and brought in a CDM that is just a little bit higher rated. And that again shows me that this team definitely has the quality within them to do well here, even without massive transfers. Howard up to a 78, Solanke 80, Brooks is up to an 84. And I'm not training him to become a left wing or anything. That is amazing growth on him. Cook up to a 77, Billing 79, Rosario, incredible growth right there. I love to see that. Definitely need a new left back and a new right back in the new season. I think that's something that we would definitely have to focus on to keep on improving this team. Love the fact that the goalkeeper has gone up to a 79. That is incredible stuff right there. And this season's hero, of course, is Dominic Solanke. But it's nothing massive. That's what she said. <laughs> Let's be honest here. That's a good season. And of course, for like a mid-table team right now, I'm very satisfied. Now, I'm hoping that this upcoming year we get a good budget because I need to make some big improvements to that defense. All right, now it's time to get rid of some Deadwood, man, because we only have a transfer budget of 19 million as we speak. So let's go in there and let's go crazy. Everyone that is old is going to be listed on the transfer market with immediate effect. We just have to go ahead and make these decisions right now for the betterment of the team because 19 million is just not enough for us to really achieve anything with and as i'm speaking the real madrid against manchester city game 64 minutes in vinicius missed the biggest chance of the game right after kickoff of the second half and it's just a madness man i love champions league football i feel like i just sold an entire team honestly look at that right there boys we have some incredible incredible transfer deals a bunch of them now facilitating the move of the transfer budget up to around let's say 70 million. Oh, this is going to be fun. As Riyad Mahrez smacks it in near post for Manchester City to go through with a couple of minutes left right here. I have brought in a couple of new signings. Mikolenko, the Everton new signing, is now our new signing. It takes over the left back spot and on the right back spot, it is a return into the Premier League for Foyth. He used to pee. He used to pee. He used to be a uh, Premier League player at Spurs. He is now returning as well. I really hope this is going to be a banging season because that team right now is looking quite good. Top 10 has to be. Looks like Real Madrid is finished, lads. Only two minutes to go, maybe. Jack Grealish came on. He's destroying them by himself right now. Trying to make back some of the 100 million they spent on a bench player. But... We have AFC Bournemouth now in the fifth position, lads. That is something incredible to look at. I mean, 65 points on this team. Man City is first in the league. No surprise there. Dominic Solanke up to an 82, but most importantly, Brooks up to an 85. I love that. Billing 81, Howard 82, Mikolenko, great growth. The entire defensive line is above 80 now, which is very important when it comes to achieving things. But... We will have to depart ourselves from Cook this season. Uh, this upcoming season, I should say. He will have to go. He's just not good enough anymore. I appreciate his service for the club. He's been here for years upon years upon years. So I am quite happy to let him go at this point. Our budget should be much bigger now since we are going to be a European club for the next season. Playing in Europe, Europa League is going to be quite a lot of fun. And the goals... Dominic Solanke. He's the main man and Brooks again. Great season from our right wing from Wales. Real Madrid scoring the 90th minute. Maybe two or three minutes left. Can they do it? Oh my God. Rodrigo just scored two off the bench. 90th and 91st minute. 
You will never see anything like this again. Remontada is on. Wow. As the second half, uh, not the second half, the extra time has begun now for Real Madrid. Your boy has brought in a replacement for Cook. Cook is gone. Yangel Herrera is here. A man that can defend and also do damage moving forward. He's coming in at the age of 26 from Venezuela. And I'm excited about it. So, lads, I really hope this team with so many originals from the Bournemouth squad can actually pull it off. This season right here is a huge disappointment. Guys, we will have to make some changes. We will have to spend big and get better because this is unacceptable. 62 points out of this season. And look at the team. 85, 85, 87. The midfield is looking very good. The defense, fourth, Oxford, Mikolenko. Kelly is the issue. Many, many times I've seen that his form is down. Just like Cook, these guys just never really had good form on them. I mean, right now it's, it's looking okay, but Kelly is maybe holding us back. So a massive signing for the centre-back position might be necessary. If I have enough money in the budget, which I don't think I will due to the positioning in the league, we will be able to push these guys down to the bench, but I think I might have to go for some swap deals. And I'm looking at Billing here as well. He's 28. I like him, but maybe he will have to become a backup as well and be pushed down to the bench. Nonetheless, big changes need to happen. And I still have a bunch of money from this season, which I'm going to try and use right now to make the right decisions. Maybe I can get a player for Kelly immediately. But... In this season, we had some top performers. Look at that. Solanke with his best season so far. Sadly wasted. Brooks as well. Herrera with the 23 and 4. Doing more in one season than Cook has done all throughout his career here. That is massive. That gives me hope for the future. Seven minutes of extra time left for Man City to recover from this incredible game. If they can. But we have brought in Botman. Sven Botman. A defender that is wanted by many, many clubs out there. Has been linked to Liverpool multiple times. But this summer specifically, AC Milan wants to pair him up with Tomori in their back line. Ahead of Mignon, that would be an incredible defense in the Serie A. But for now, he's joining to play with Oxford. Kelly, I'm sorry, but you're gone. Real Madrid have done it. Oh my lord, the incredible has happened. It has happened. Man City had the chance to score one more and get into the penalties, but it's done. An unbelievable game. Historic football in both legs. Wow. I am amazed by how incredible football can be. Truly an incredible night of football, but also West Ham have been beaten in a cup final. FA Cup winners. That tells me the team has definitely improved and back into the top four. Third position. I believe that is our highest finish so far. Champions League football secured for Bournemouth. And that should bring in a lot of money. Now, we don't need to talk about money too much because the team itself is incredible right now. Howard looking good. Solanke, Brooks, Herrera. After that season, his potential went up. Rosario looking solid. Botman up to an 87. Oxford 86. The entire defensive line looking incredible. And the lowest rated is the goalkeeper alongside Oxford. But that should be okay. Next season, both hopefully pushing towards the 88 if possible. Who has been the main man now? I have to say, Billing on the 85 is worrying. The guy's 29 years old, has incredible stats. I think I'm going to push him down to the bench because Champions League money is going to be big and I need to utilize it to make this team stronger. Solanke, 31 and 5. Brooks, 26 and 11. Billing, what a season. Oh, oh, maybe he doesn't actually get pushed down to the bench. He had an incredible year. That could definitely lead to him going up to an 87 next season possibly even if he turns 30 man he could pull this off and that could be enough for us do i give him a chance i maybe do man this is such a good day of football i really enjoy myself here season's coming to an end fa cup final oh man i was hoping we're gonna go maybe for a treble but we are in the champions league final my friends ac milan against freaking Bournemouth. <laughs> Come on. So how's it looking? Billing up to an 87. I knew it. Trust in Billing. So from the original team, we have Solanke, Brooks, Billing, 
and we have the goalkeeper in here still so incredible incredible stuff i wanted to keep a couple of these players in for sure because they have done an incredible job and of course the captain himself brooks i can't wait to test him out in this game solanke howard looking incredible all oh, five star five star herrera five star five star billing as well rosario as well nearly the entire team <laughs> in the midfield and attack not nearly definitely all of them have the five star five star on them and the growth has been big see this season we have brooks yes yes buddy 44 and 8 a true leader a true captain cancer free let's go buddy now we also have solanke with the 37 and 6 and howard with the 25 and 18 and herrera with the 19 and 18 what a season he has had and where are we in the premier league how did it end up my friends let's take a look at it ah oh, missed out by one point it's okay because we are going for the biggest trophy of them all the champions league trophy is on the line and I absolutely love this team. As we go up against AC Milan in the final, I just want to point out that Maldini's son is in the team playing. Camara, Tonali as CDM's incredible pairing. Tomori, Upamecano in defense. Oh man, that's going to be some tough ones to break down with the likes of Solanke. He will need to be very strong in between them two. And here we go. I am so excited, man. I genuinely, like after just watching that Champions League semi-final between Real Madrid and Manchester City, I just want to have a banging game right here in our very own Champions League final with the likes of Brooks leading the line. Brooks, I desperately want him to get a goal contribution. But most importantly, I need him to lift that trophy as Solanke pushes in in behind the two center backs i really want um ea to deal with that a little bit more as well when you have those crosses the, the types of ones that i've just made where in real life football these days teams get goals galore i want to be able to bring those crosses in myself and score them on fifa as well but hey it is what it is hopefully one day here it goes billing the main man he's a giant isn't he oh down the right brooks Brooks, great dribbling. No. Oh, wow. Not bad. Not bad at all, Captain. Uh-oh. This is dangerous. Vlasic, great play. Even better defending. That is incredible from our boy in the center. Just waiting for the right moment to jump in there. Down the left, we have a runner in Howard. Howard, come on, son. You can do this. Howard stops. Inside. Sees Billing. Billing. Billing, billing, billing. We got to score that, pal. Inside. One more. One more. One more. One more. Oh, what a ball. Solanke. Herrera. Yangel Herrera. My man runs through the midfield and scores the goal for Bournemouth. Come on. Dominic Solanke with the assist. The passing play is on point. Incredible through ball right into the face of Magnon. That's... Let's keep it up. Mine. Yeah. Get out of here, bro. Get out of here. This could be dangerous if Tonali and the boys find the right passes here. Oh, that is very unlucky from our defender. He's fighting to get it back. Sven Botman and the boys are struggling at the back. But Herrera doesn't only score. He also defends. Good ball down the wings. AC Milan right before half time, Trying to get a chance. That is some tackle, mate. Wow. Fourth. I love it. I love it. Mate, the fans are so loud. I think this might be the one time where the fans that I have, the Bournemouth fans, are so freaking loud compared to other teams that i took to the champions league finals maybe ea have a bunch more uh soundtracks uh saved up for bournemouth fans that's interesting defensive masterclass needed here against ac milan i can tell you that much oh that is definitely not a defensive masterclass it's a goalkeeping masterclass oh dangerous dangerous ac milan Rosario trying to defend here. They have options down the wing. It's Foyth again. And Foyth is just the best center back, uh, fullback in a game. Mate, I've never seen tackles like it. This game is not about attacking. This game is about defending. My God, what is going on here? Herrera. 
Go on, inside. Solanke, Solanke. He just did him dirty. I'm sorry, Tomori, but I just ended your career. Yes, come on. Oh, fourth, I need you again. Fourth, your slide tackles must be like 99 rated. I've never tried to slide tackle that much, but man, that guy gives me confidence. Now we need the quick passing because AC Milan is pushing forward quite a bit. And that is some passing to Howard. Howard. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Bournemouth win the Champions League with a late counter-attack. Just like Manchester City, AC Milan is on the floor crying. Yes. Come on. By the way, our manager looks ridiculous, doesn't he? That skill move that I've just done there, man. It's one of the most satisfying skill moves you can pull off against the AI. It's one of the one of the only ones that they really fall for. And I just love it, man. I just love being able to pull off moments like that. It just makes these career mode videos so much more entertaining. And that's going to be one of my goals for sure for the next year as well. And just generally FIFA. Whenever I do play gameplay, I want to bring in some amazing, skillful moments for you guys. But lads, the attack might have won us this game with the goals. I gotta say, though, fourth. Wow. What a game, pal. Brooks, I'm sorry I couldn't get you a goal contribution, but you're going to get to lift that trophy. It was very sad when I heard that this boy had cancer. He's so talented, so young. And he had to deal with a huge upset in his life like that. And now he gets to lift it. My man is cancer free and he lifts the Champions League trophy. I really hope for him that his health is going to be um, staying like this now. Healthy and uh, moving forward with his life. If you guys have anyone in your family that has experienced cancer and you've lost someone to due to it as well. I'm very sorry. My condolences. I personally have lost people um, due to that as well. It is very, very sad to see people having to deal with it. But I'm glad this young man has pulled through. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Appreciate you all. We are back again next time. Take care. Peace.